Big up my dad. Big up my dad. Kim, big up my dad. Kim, remember me know you. I love me, love my dad. It's your boy DP100, and you is not watching 100 TV. And today we is back with some more news, just in case y'all been living underneath a rock and you haven't heard. But I guess that everybody heard the news already. Your boy Vibes Cartel, the king of the Gaza, has been released from the penitentiary. Yes, your boy is home. That boy is back to eating steamed fish with dumpling with a red strap on the side. Your boy Vibes Cartel is back home and he's not with Shati. He has a new woman, yes, a nice little English woman. But it looks like your boy Vibes Cartel is trying to work on that visa so he could go over to Europe. <laughs> I'm just joking, y'all. I'm just joking. I'm saying. That's his woman, y'all. You had heard him. Kiss me, baby. You had heard it from the goat's mouth. That is that man's wife. So stop violating her, man. Kiss me, baby. <laughs> you know? And plus, she had held him down through that whole bid, man. She was checking up on his family, his kids, his cousins, you know what I mean? They said that she was a real rider, so. So sometimes in life, you can't pick who really loves you. You know what I mean? You gotta love the ones that love you, you know? So I just think that Vibes Cartel really felt some good love from this woman. But I see everybody online picking on this little woman and saying oh he is using her or she is using him hey listen man in life everybody gotta get used at some point yeah you think a woman is gonna be with you if she can't get nothing from you and vice versa you're not gonna be with somebody and you can't get nothing it's a barter system you gotta give to receive you feel me so so give the boy vibes cartel a chance man that boy just came home from doing 13 years so if you've been living underneath a rock and you may not be into the dance hall culture i'm gonna give you a little information on who Vibes Cartel is and what he was arrested for. So let's go. Jamaican dancehall star Vibes Cartel was released from prison late last week after successfully appealing a 2014 body conviction. Vibes Cartel had been in prison since 2011 after being arrested on body charges relating to the body of his associate Clive Lizard. Then after being convicted in March of 2014, he was officially sentenced to 35 years of prison along with three of his associates. Boy, there must be a God, I tell you. That boy was sentenced to 35 years in a penitentiary, man. In a hot, sweaty, dirty penitentiary in Jamaica. I don't think you understand the conditions that that boy was living in. We over here complaining about the jails in America. Listen, go do a five stretch in the jails in Jamaica and see how you gonna come home. Boy, I'm telling you, it's rough down there. Give car tell a chance man that boy went in there strong and he came out very ill and you wonder why man the conditions the stress that he was under was crazy man yeah people just finished my morning workout you know good half for one thing you know can't do overdo it yet if you take it in stride you know we say fitness and family though yeah man god is the greatest that boy was sentenced to 35 years, but I tell you, there must be a God. God is real. Because he was out in 13 years. That boy did 13 years, and he came home, man. Uh-huh. It's back to the oxtails, rice, and peas, and the ackee and saltfish, man. That boy got his freedom back, so you got to give him a little bit of slack. Because let me tell you something. Jamaican courts are under a British policy. The way they do things, they doing things like the English way, like London. Listen, they're going to send you up the river. You get caught with a firearm in England, oh man, it's over for you, man. I'm telling you. And that's how Jamaica runs. They court system is very strict. So Vibes Cartel is very lucky to even come home and beat this, man. God is good. You see that boy got that tatted on his forehead. It says, love God. Mm -hmm. That boy Cartel and found the Lord, man. Because let me tell you something. Before Vibes Cartel got locked up, his mindset was different, man. His mindset was not good. He was telling the people in Jamaica that he does not believe in God. 
God. And let me tell you something. Jamaica is an island that is built off of Christianity. No Muslim, no Buddha, ain't none of that. It's Christianity, man. My Jamaican people, I'm telling you, we take church serious. When I was a little picnic, I never wanted to go to Sunday school, man. Because I'm telling you, you're going to be in there for 10 hours. Church is very serious in Jamaica. You can't play with God. So that's when Vob's cartel went wrong, man. Check this interview out right here. When he went on there and he was talking crazy. I believe in God. Vob's cartel is a spiritual person. I'm not a religious person. So when you say believe in God, if you mean Jesus... I'm not a religious person like that. God in the context of Christendom, of Christianity. No, I don't believe in Christianity. I don't believe in Buddhism. I don't believe in Islam. Because to me, religion is division. It's just one more thing to divide people. Religious wars are the most violent wars in history. And it can be proven with even the recent 9-11 attacks in New York City. That is a religious war. You see that right there, Vibes Cartel? This time around, you cannot talk like this. You cannot. You cannot. This is the same bad vibes that followed you, man. I'm telling you, you got to let these bad vibes go. Don't talk like this, man. But I see you got that tattoo, so it looks like you have found God in there, man. But you can't come back out here again and promote this type of message. It's not going to work. Jamaica is built off of church. I can't tell mummy to stop reading her Bible. She going to look at me like I'm crazy. She going to think I'm a demon. So them type of vibes right there, you got to let that go. I remember you used to go on the tube. You had some content on there where they were saying vibes cartel speaks his mind. You see that? We can't come with that neither. Mm -mm. JPS, which as we all know stands for Jamaica Service. So me decide, say, well, me not pay the bill yeah. So me say, all right, me not pay that bill there. Anyway. Like you trying to build a cult and you telling people to do this? No. Just make your music and get your money, Vibes. That's it, man. Get back on your feet and get your money. But most important is, first thing you have to do is get some good doctors. Yes, because health is wealth. Go see some good doctors that could really help you. Because I know them doctors in the jail was not helping you, man. But now you have the chance to see some good doctors and get your health back. The second thing you need to do, Vibes, cartel is sell your catalog yes you have over probably 10,000 songs you can sell some of that music man sell some of your music like the rappers do check this out your boy future he just sold his catalog for millions and millions of dollars and guess what you're just gonna continue to make more music we all know how musically inclined vibes cartel is this man can make a song out of anything before he had got locked up he was making like 15 songs a day this is why he has a big catalog. So my advice is sell some of your music. At least stack up like $10 million so you don't have to run around and do so much. You know what I'm saying? Because I know while you was locked up, you was getting robbed for a lot of money. People were stealing your records. You lost a lot of money paying for lawyers. You feel me? So you got to get that money back. So the first thing that you should do is sell some of your catalog. I'm telling you, you're going to get some millions. And another thing, too, you can't come back out out here doing these gun songs mm -mm. none of that you gotta uplift the jamaican people and the rest of the world yes uplift people already love you you know what i mean and these women want to dance these women want to whine they don't want to hear the violence i'm telling you vibes i'm telling you listen to me they don't want to hear the violence what you just went through nah you got to come back with some good vibes hit records big videos big production and then you have to cross over to america you got to do like how sean paul did man you were supposed to have songs with beyonce vibes cartel featuring beyonce vibes cartel and sia vibes cartel and rihanna this is where your career needs to go we can't come back home and do the same thing like you was doing 15 years ago. No, everything got to be big production, high level. And I'm telling you, it's going to work. You was the world boss, right? You got to live up to that name. Let me tell you this. Jamaica is a small little island. So to be the world boss, you got to take over the world. Like Pitbull and them. Like them Afrobeats artists. Like Burner Boy. Burner Boy's taking over the world. You feel me? That's what you have to do, man. We got to take it to the next level. And right 
right now he just has to focus on his health drop some big records oh yeah and one of your records should be named kiss me baby yes and you should have merchandise saying kiss me baby everything a perfume kiss me baby you gotta capitalize off of everything kiss me baby everything you feel me this is how you gotta make the money you have to capitalize off of what's happening right now you have to capitalize off of everything kiss me baby everything but it's your boy db100 man i'm just dropping some jewels man i've been around for a long time and i know what i'm talking about i just don't get on here and just be talking just to be talking nah man i keep it 100 and i be dropping enough jewels so you can make a bracelet and a chain you get me but it's your boy db100 man tell me how y'all feel about this right here man leave your comments below like comment and subscribe 100 You are now watching 100 TV, where we always keep it 100 over here. No clickbait, no cap news, just real authentic content. The 100 West.